Hey guys, we're in here. I'm going to get my static pressure. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to drop, y'all. Make sure I set up right again. Yeah. Okay. So, what I have. Let's go ahead and pull this out. I checked it two different. I checked it on the black terminal. I'm like right here. Checked it on the blue. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm like checked it on the black. I'm like 835 CFMs. I checked it on the blue. I'm right at like 770, 715. I'll show you. So I got my manometers so I got one four this is on the blue got one four I've got five six so five five so one four and you know so I mean we're right right at like a point seven with you know on blue so I'm moving it right about 715 CFMs. I don't know if y'all can see that. 715 CFMs. And if we disconnect blue and we put it on the black, Might be off because I left it running for so long. Okay, but anyways, six seven six eight. It's talking about like an eight. Wait, what's that? Seven six eight seven eight. Nine four, so I'm like up nine point four up here, right? So too high. If you look, you read number six. Very high. Shouldn't be like that. I like the um, the charts that give you watts. So let's go ahead punch in our CFMs. I'm on black. Mm. No, I. Let me just check my math. Cause I'm not the brightest person. Sorry for wasting all this time. Always want to make so that needle's pointing in the right direction. So I'm at like a point eight. I'm moving that. Many CFMs. So I guess I just want to leave it here, huh? Bummer. 6 4. One six, yeah. So I'm at like right at a point eight, so I need to leave it there.
so Sixty-nine degrees in my house. Let that sit in there for a minute. And while we're waiting for that, when they built my house, I asked them to give me the manual J. This ain't good through mine. Yeah, asked them to give me all of that information. My load, everything. Windows, doors. So that way, when I go to change my equipment out one day, I will have no problem with permitting or anything. Or I won't have to do anything. It's all right there. So, got a clear wave. I highly recommend clear waves. Right there, there it is. Clear wave. Good product. Really like them. Y'all ought to look them up. Okay, so I've got the superheat, that sub core, and where it needs to be 94 and 47. So I went here, pitch. There. so I got 47, 94. So what I did is I turned on the troubleshooting. So to me it looks like everything is okay, it's just a little cool outside. So if you look, it says the suction pressure is okay, the head pressure is low, Su oh, super heat is okay, subcorn is okay. So if we go here, and it just tells you a couple things. And what I believe the problem is... So I have this set on high speed. That's wrong, 765. I 
and I can't turn my airflow up any higher. Isn't that a bummer? I tell you, I knew I had airflow problems before I um, got this wonderful device. We'll be looking here. I am using the high terminal. So, I need to release some pressure of this unit. That is a bummer. That is a bummer. So, what I can do. System performance. So, my house I need to move some more air well guys thanks for watching I need to go clean up my mess uh, have a good one comment below bye